It's Jaden. I'm here with the new merch, the pink Jacoji T and the pink Jacoji hats. Check them out on the website. What's going on everyone? It's Brain with Jacoji Fine Jewelry, your local jeweler. In this video, we're gonna talk about stacking link chains. I've made hundreds of videos of stacking ropes with Francos, with heavy links, Jacoji links, more rounded style chains. But in this video, we're gonna take a look at stacking link chains together, how it looks, could you, should you do it. With that being said, let's get started. I remember one of my first jewelry review videos was stacking two rope chains, how it's a classic look, and you really can't beat that look overall, and I've stacked Francos with the ropes, the heavy links, like I mentioned, but a lot of people get and like link chains, flat curves, Miami Cubans, Figaro's, Mariners, those style chains, and it works for them. When I first got this five and a half millimeter flat curve, 22 inch, I loved it so much. My absolute goal in life was to get this look that you're seeing across the screen. I loved it. I'm a creature of habit. It works for me. So I did not want to add a Figaro or a Franco or a rope chain. I wanted every color with the flat curve. I got the rose gold flat curve, five and a half, 20 inch, my white gold, 22 inch, and then the yellow gold, 24 inch. If you walk out in public looking like this, you're gonna be an absolute baller because you got every single color on. Honestly, three, it's a lot of chains, but if you're just wearing them, and the good thing about the flat curves, they're not too heavy, but they are nice, as you guys see in the B-roll. Um, so I just wanna throw this cool shot because this, this look right here was my absolute goal as far as gold chains. I love my five and a half millimeter white gold. It sparked the gold fever in my heart and in my passion, and we are here today. So I want to show a different style, kind of the same chain. If we're kind of comparing a rope chain, which is the most classic chain or one of the most classic chain, you could debate in the comment section below. What else is a classic link chain? And in my opinion, it's the Figaro chain. So I kind of want to give that comparison, stacking two rope chains to two Figaro chains. On my neck, I got the four millimeter Figaro 20 inch. I bumped it up in width the five and a half millimeter Figaro 22 inch. Both of these widths are extremely popular on Jacoji.com. We get them, they sell out within a month or so. So a lot of people like these sizes. And guys, generally you can mix and match. I'll put the disclaimer while you're still watching. You can mix and match. I just always recommend the shorter chain a little bit thinner and the longer chain a little bit thicker. Can you go the same length like I did with those five and a half flat curves? Of course you can. Can you go different colors? Of course you can, it's whatever you like. When I got this five and a half flat curve, even though it doesn't make a ton of sense, I wanted every single color and to layer them like an absolute baller. So that was my dream and goal. So you could do whatever you want. I just like to make it look clean, ideal situation. Most of you guys start out with, and the good thing about the Figaro, the flat curve, the Mariner, they're lighter chains. They are solid gold, but they don't weigh a ton compared to a Miami Cuban link where they are heavier. So you could start out, and most people start out with the 20 or the 22 inch length so you could add and stay stack them. That is the fun with layering chains. Now can you stack, let's say, a heavy tight link Miami Cuban link with a lighter style chain? Of course you can. On my neck I got the 5mm yacht link 20 inch and a 6mm Miami Cuban link 22 inch. Link chains are link chains, your preference and your desires for what you like to wear and what chains you want. It's up to you. You write the book. So. I have this, I wanted to kind of match similar the Yacht Link, as far as like the lighter style chains, it's on the heavier, I put it at like a medium, it's not as heavy as a Jacoji Curb or a Miami Cuban Link, but it is not super light like a Flat Curb Mariner Figaro, so I wanted to add these two and show you guys on the neck how it looks, because a lot of people love Miami Cuban Links, maybe they just like overall they want. And a huge reason when you get down to it for everyday wear, why you would go with a link chain, it's easier to wear as far as like the profile under your shirt. A lot of people are like, hey, I work. I don't want a six millimeter rope bulging on my shirt showing the print. I want something that lays flush to the skin. I don't really want to feel it, worry about it. And that is a huge benefit with going with a link chain and why you might consider it. Um, as, as opposed to the rounded style chains. They just sit flush to the skin, they're nice. Trust me, five and a half flat curve, I've had this. I don't even know, I, I lost track. It's been that long. 
um, and I love it for that exact reason. You don't really feel like you're wearing it. It's flush to the skin, easy to wear, so it works well. So I wanted to pair those two. Now, my favorite setup of all these setup, and I just, when I saw it on the mirror, making sure everything looks good, I was like, this is it. I am him with this setup. Five millimeter Yacht Link 20 inch with a seven millimeter Mariner 22 inch. Call me crazy. I would take the 7mm Mariner over the 6mm Miami Cuban Link. I love Miami Cuban Links. They're not my favorite chain. I think overall for the mass, that is the king of link chains. But I kind of like those lighter chains with the diamond cut because they sparkle. And I just really feel like I'm standing out. You guys let me know. I think this setup works. And I chose this setup because a lot of people get like really into like uh, matching and does it work? Does it clash? I took kind of the same, the Yacht Link is the Mariner's father, um, and so I took the Yacht Link a little thinner on the bottom and then the Mariner on, um, on top and then the Mariner on the bottom. They are similar style link chains, the Mariner style link, the Yacht Link is just a little bit more boss thicker, just looks better, but the thing with the Mariner has that diamond cut edges which sparkles as you will see in this B-roll. So I want to do kind of the similar but slightly different link styles in case you're thinking, can I go with something different? Do they have to match exactly? No, you will look good like I do in this B-roll. Last but not least, the absolute no-no. Unsubscribe if you do this. I cannot trust you. I'm kidding. I want to show you guys how this is looking generally wear a pendant with a link chain buy a pendant buy a Franco forever you'll live happy that's just how it works but we got to think realistic here like I mentioned before a lot of people start off with the four millimeter flat curve and go 22 inch because that's what braid recommends because braid knows best this is an option for you I put a mini crucifix on the four millimeter flat curve 22 inch in case you're in that predicament and want to add to it and just look, now I get it. The problem with link chains, it folds at the very bottom. Um, on camera, it looked more exaggerated than when I was looking at it from like eight feet away in the mirror, making sure it looks good. I, it's not a huge deal, and if you're cool with that, do it. I don't think it looks bad at all. I always make these videos to with someone that's just trying to learn and has never bought jewelry before and give you guys actual factual points. Um, but if you have a four millimeter flat curve or any style link chain, this is gonna happen. I don't think it's a huge deal. It looks good. And then below it, I put a four millimeter Figaro 20 inch. I wanted to kind of give that realistic stack setup because a lot of people own these size chains. Again, same width for these, and then I dropped it a little bit lower because people, I get like the flat curve, they want to make sure it's perfect and go up a size, but they don't not comfortable. You could do whatever you want. I'm showing you with these. I mix, match different lengths, different widths, different styles. They all look good. As long as you're confident, as long as it's Shikoji, then it's gonna look good, I promise you. Drop a comment down below what you think of stacking link chains. Does it work? Is it too much? Or do you like to st stick with rounded style chains like a three millimeter Franco and a four millimeter rope? The best stack possible in my opinion. Or do you mix those two up? Maybe a four millimeter flat curb and a three and a half Franco or a rope, something like that. Drop a comment down below. Let us know your personal stack. That's it for today's video. and We'll see you on our next jewelry video. Peace.